Hello, welcome back. Um, I guess I'm going to call, call this coronavirus uh, chronicles, but I just wanted to make a quick video, get something off my chest because I have been seeing this so much in the last week in regards to um, home sewers, seamstresses, uh, companies making face masks for hospitals and healthcare workers and things like that because of the intense, immense, uh, astronomical shortage of medical supplies to protect our, our healthcare workers, nurses, doctors, physicians, assistants, all of the above. Um, so I started making face masks with a couple other ladies and we made 150 last week and we sold them to a hospital and we're making another 100 this week. So, you know, I've been, I've been doing this for a week now. This is, so this is just pretty new for me, but probably not for the nation. Maybe I'm like about two, three weeks behind on this. But what I keep seeing online is that people are just like, why are you even bother making face masks? They don't uh, protect you against the coronavirus. It's not going to protect you indefinitely. It's not like an N95 mask. It's why even bother? Here's the thing. N no one no one in their right mind right now, anyone with common sense is not saying these things. We know that, you know, these simple homemade masks will not protect you 100% against coronavirus. We know that. No one is making that claim. And if they are, they're liars. And then the very small percentage of people that are saying that. These masks serve as just a barrier, a barrier um, it's, it's desperate. These hospitals literally do not have anything in some places here in El Paso. I, I was reading articles and hearing, um, secondhand accounts of nurses who were saying in some hospitals, they have nothing anymore. They can't even reuse their N95 masks. They had to throw them away. They're using bandanas and scarves in lieu of a face mask, which, I mean, if you want to talk about that's not going to save you from the coronavirus. That's, I mean, it is something, but it's probably worse than what the masks that a lot of the home sewers right now are doing. So I just wanted to, to just, to just clarify it. We know as seamstresses and the hospitals know that our homemade masks are not going to protect you a hundred percent from coronavirus, but in a time of desperate, desperate need, it is something to protect your face, at least from maybe touching it, or just to catch some maybe spit droplets or, or you know, something of a moisture fluid exchange when you talk to other people in close proximity, which a lot of healthcare workers still probably work in close proximity to their patients. So we know this. Please stop saying that, because we know this and nobody is making the claim that is going to protect us from coronavirus, but it's better than nothing. In some cases, I've seen articles where they are down to their last uh, hospital gown, which should be thrown away and people are wearing garbage bags in the hospital. It's that bad. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just happy I've been able to help uh, with a couple other seamstresses in my area to fulfill the need. And I think this kind of helps on both ends. Your The hospitals are supporting small business, independent contractors, out of work seamstresses, like myself, um, you know, as with this coronavirus has, how it's progressed since my last video about the toilet paper, more and more people out of work. Um, in my city last week, or was it this week? I don't even know. I mean, my my concept of time now is completely warped we have like a, a 12 a.m. curfew, like you can't really be out unless you're an essential worker. And even during the day, like unless you're doing grocery shopping or essential purchases or whatever, or going to work, like they don't want you out in public. Like they don't want social gathering for the most part. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, dude, it's, it's gotten a lot worse since that last video. And again, if you go out in public, I mean, it's it's better than nothing. Um, I'm gonna be making my family some 
my little one is not too keen on wearing them. I try to make him wear one today when we went to the store and he was just like not having it. So I have to figure something out in terms of that. But again, I just want to clarify because this is kind of grinding my gears and I'm sorry, it's just, these are my actual emotions and reactions. We know and are not claiming that this is as good or a decent replacement for the N95 mask or other hospital grade facial masks to protect against germs. But in the situation that we are in, we realize and the hospitals realize and in a desperate cry, again, I'm reiterating myself for probably the seventh time in this video, it is absolutely better than nothing. So that's all I wanted to say and get off my chest today, guys. I hope everyone's staying safe and at home. Wash your hands, wash your face, everything, and have a great weekend. All right, bye.